Hi guys, Dave here with you. Thanks for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do give us a like, a share, and a comment. All those things really help us out a lot. We're back in, in Florida, staying at a really cool place. There's seven units, uh, efficiency type apartments here. Uh, the neighbors are great. We just are having a great time out here trying to stay safe. Uh, Memorial Day weekends in a couple of days. And hey, my neighbors are such great folks. They even painted me a really cool sign because uh, they knew I'd be filming this video. So uh, thanks to them, it's really appreciated. And uh, I think it's really cool. Hey, Memorial Day's coming up. I got to thinking about what would be fun to cook for the group that you're having over, or a small group maybe, uh, under 10, right? Um, that you would cook that's different and uh, tasty. Uh, I got to thinking about maybe doing some Rubens on the Blackstone. They're always delicious, but let's change it up a little bit. Let's do blackened Mahi Rubens. They're really good. They're easy to make, so let's get going. The first thing you want to do is start out with your, with your Mahi. And I've got four nice little fillets here, and we're just going to take and put them on a plate like this. We're going to put a little bit of uh, olive oil on them and then we're going to season them. So let's just spread just a little bit of olive oil on them right, like that. Spread that around. And I like this Paul Perdone's Blackened Redfish Magic seasoning and it's just absolutely delicious. So let's spread a liberal, a liberal portion around on that. We're going to do both sides. Spread that around a little bit. Flip them over. And then do the other side. Again, this is blackened, so you want to use a good bit because it's the seasoning that actually blackens, right? Blackened, blackened fish. So here we go. All right, so we got our blackening seasoning on there. Now, uh, the thing to do is to cook this in butter. It really, really helps that blackening seasoning perform properly. I've got the griddle already on. I got the left side on, the right side off. I'm cooking on that 22 today. So the left side's at 425, 430. The right side's at 345. That'll be just fine. Let's get some butter down real quick. We'll spread that butter around. Let that... Gonna turn that up as high as it'll go now. Go ahead and get some butter over here because we're gonna be toasting the bread on this as well. Let's check our temp again, yeah. 450, that's, that's pretty darn good. We'll put our fish on. It doesn't take long. So while the fish is over here getting cooked, I'm gonna put some sauerkraut over in the corner. Now I've already drained and pressed a lot of the liquid out of this sauerkraut. And I'm gonna put some over here just to be warming up. Get all that goodness going. You get enough for four sandwiches out there. So that's good. Check that temp. Yeah, that's a, about 450 or so. That's good. Get this sauerkraut nice and warmed up. Dry it out. If you don't put the sauerkraut on here, and you don't dry all the liquid out of it, then all it's gonna do really is, <laughs> all it's gonna do really is make your bread soggy, which you don't want, obviously. So, we'll get that going. Again, it doesn't take long on this fish. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, they're coming along. 
Getting a little dark on her. That's what we want. Okay. So while that's cooking, we're going to start toasting our bread. And what we want to do is put some more butter down for our bread. And we'll toast them over here. Now you also want to take these bigger pieces and cut them in half because uh, that makes it just the right size for one sandwich. Once you've put that together with the seasoning and everything, it makes it real hard to cut and it just gets kind of sloppy. So yeah, we'll put a couple pieces of bread right there. And yeah, we'll put a couple over here also. Get them going like that. Super deal. All right, let's check our temp over here where we got our blackening happening. 462, that's good. Over here, our bread is about 375. A little cooler over here, so we're going to have to manage the toasting of the bread. that happen over there. I'm going to move that over there. And we'll just give all that a minute to cook. All right, let's kind of see where we're at with the bread and the, and the sauerkraut. The sauerkraut is looking good. It's actually getting a little bit of caramelization on it, which is going to bring the flavor out like crazy. Check our bread. We want it to toast, but we don't want it burnt, of course. Yeah, that's looking pretty darn good. Get that going like that. Yeah, it's starting to toast up nicely. All right, let's see how our toast is looking. Yeah, it's coming along. Getting toasted. Oh, that one's looking real good. We're getting some crispy. That one could use a little more. We'll put that over there. Let that go. I know what you're saying. Hey Dave, how come you just don't turn the other side of the griddle on and toast that bread? Well, the reason is I still don't want that too hot because when I put these together, I want to melt the cheese and if I got this super hot and I shut the lid, it's not gonna, it's not gonna do exactly what I want. So I'm kind of doing it over here. All right, let's check our fish. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. That is gonna be so good. Yeah, now our bread's toasting up real nicely. This just doesn't take that long to make, as you can see, because we're almost ready to put these together. All right, there's, we're getting ready to make four sandwiches right there. So the next thing we're gonna do is take a little bit of Swiss cheese, nice good aged Swiss. Set that down on a, on a sandwich. It's okay with me if it goes over the edge. Shut the lid, let that melt just for a second. Okay, that has started to melt. Time to assemble them. Like I said, this doesn't take long. So we're gonna put a piece of mahi on each sandwich right on the Swiss cheese. Like so. A little bit of sauerkraut. Yep, this might work better. Yeah, look at that. Sauerkraut. Right there. Sloppy is okay. Sloppy is your friend. Oh, that turned out good. 
and then we're going to plate them before we close them because we want to drizzle a little bit of Thousand Island dressing on them. So we'll take this guy, put him right there. Oh, I lost some of my stuff. Get back on there. Okay. Get this guy. Look at that cheesy goodness. Right there. That guy's gonna go right there. And this guy is gonna go right here. Okay. Drizzle a little bit of Thousand Island dressing on them. So. And then we'll just take our, our tops, put them on the sandwich, like so. Put that guy right there. All right, now that's some good looking sandwiches there. Now, to go along with that on the side, I like a pickle. Nice cold kosher dill pickle. And some some ruffles. Just love ruffles potato chips. They're good on the side as well. So a couple of chips. And when you serve these, of course, individually, each person will they'll get a pickle and they'll get a chip. Let's give this a taste. I can't wait. Nice and messy. Here goes. Oh man. Guys, I don't know if I can really describe how good this is. Nice, big, thick piece of mahi in there. The sauerkraut, the cheese, everything's just delicious. I'm telling you, you gotta make these. These are really, really good. And they're different, you know. You don't see a lot of mahi. You can do it with grouper. You can do it with cod. You could even do it with catfish. I'm sure it'd be good. Black and mahi sandwiches for Memorial Day. You see how quick and easy they are to make. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you make the sandwich. Again, thanks for watching, spending time with me today. If, if you haven't yet, please subscribe, give us a like, a share, and a comment. And stick around. Let's just see what's next with Dave.